Hi everyone, I hope you're all having a wonderful Lord's Day. Happy Sunday to all of you. So that medley, I was just realizing as I played through it, that covered a lot of different parts of gospel music and hymnology. So it was Beneath the Cross of Jesus, All Hail the Power, the other tune, the Eller tune, and then Come Thou Fount, a couple different tunes of that one thrown in there. Child of the King, He Will Hold Me Fast, which is, um, it's a song written by um, Getty writers, and I'm drawing a blank, Matthew something or another, and hold on a second, I'm going to tell you who it is, because that's one I've never played on here, but it was requested, and I really, really enjoyed playing it. 388, hold on. It is in the Hymns of Grace hymnal that I've mentioned to you guys before. Just a really broad hymnal. I like it a lot. Let me see here. 388. The words are written by Ada Habershon, and then Matthew Merker wrote the refrain and the third verse. So it's a good song. Really, really strong doctrinal song. I like those. And then There is a Redeemer, which is like a new or oldish like chorus song. There's actually three verses to it, but it was written by... Green, and I'm drawing a blank on her first name, so I'm sorry. That's in the Majesty Hymnal if you want to see the music for that one. And then I Have Never Lost the Wonder of It All by one of my very favorites, Dr. Alfred B. Smith, and then Sheltered in the Arms of God, which I believe is a Dottie Rambo song. So, wow, that just covered lots of different decades and styles of gospel music. So that was a lot of fun. Okay, and now I'm going to play your requests. And I did find We'll Understand It Better by and by in um, the Red Book. So someone graciously sent me an email version of that and I found it also in the Red Book. So I will play that one tonight. That one was so funny last week. We had all kinds of different versions trying to float around. So I'll play the one straight from the book. All right, Josh is behind the camera and he'll tell me what you guys want to hear. All right, well, hello everyone. Let's see, I guess I don't have a little saying like you do. She said, happy Sunday. <laughs> I always say, happy Sunday. Say, Hi, you know. All right. Let's, I'm going to do something a little different, and we'll start off with answering a couple of questions. Okay. Um, two, I, I'll, I've got three. Okay. Two are music related, and one is not. All right. Do you have tips for song to song modulation? Uh, yes. Yeah. So as I'm ending one song, I'm already thinking about the next song. So take your time with it. If you rush it, then it sounds like disjointed. But like, I, okay, let's say I was ending Amazing Grace going into My Savior's Love. So Amazing Grace is typically in G, My Savior's Love typically in A flat. So as I end Amazing Grace, I'm already thinking of I stand amazed in the presence. Like I'm already hearing that line. So I would end, let's see. I'm hearing the key change at the E flat seven chord. So like give yourself a second to kind of hear the, the theme and the tone of what that second song sounds like. Don't just rush into it. Like build an extra measure in there if you need to for your key change. So I say breathe through it. Just take your time, hear the next song, then it'll flow better. All right. This is maybe a little vague, but we'll see what you can do with it. And that is any tips to make a hymn or a song bigger. Okay. So the first thing I'd say is if you have, if you see what's written in your hymnal, octave the bass note, like put two of them, same note, but play two of them in your left hand, and then move the tenor note up to the right hand. So your right hand's going to octave the melody, which is the soprano note on top, and then put the rest of the chord in the middle. So if you're on a C chord and your melody note is a C, then your right hand plays... I think they can see me. He'll switch it over. A C to C. My left hand's on a C octave and then put the other parts of the chord in the middle. So you get that instead of that your hymnal would have. So octave the bass, octave the melody, put four notes in your right hand, at least two in your left. That's a really beginner step towards making your hymn playing more full. But I have a whole course on that. Foundations in hymn playing. If you want to know like what to do with the hymnal, like how to make it sound more full, that's the course. So, All right. And then someone asked if we plan to continue doing this after baby comes. And y we do. We, we don't we plan so. to stop. But, you know, we don't really have a clue what our life will be like yeah. <laughs> six months from now. We, we understand that we are really clueless about that what that phase will look like as we do some changes. So I'm it may sure not be on Sunday nights at 830. 
miss uh, some for sure. Yeah. I don't know that we'll be able to keep our current average up, but um, we don't plan to stop. No. No. It may just be at a different time or something like that, but we'll still keep posting. Don't worry. All right. Now, let's see. First request is All the Way My Savior Leads Me. Okay. you all right and then let's do oops i'm a little bit behind um i've never been sorry okay 114 in the red back it is 114 <laughs> i shouldn't be having to look this one up okay sorry it, it, there was another song that i was thinking of the first line of and i was thinking no no, no it's not that one it's the same key okay let's go
our church had a big camp meeting growing up and I loved that song because as a little, little kid because those altos would just sing that line out really loud and alto singing on that A flat and B flat I just thought was the most glorious sound. I, I wanted to be an alto so bad. So every time I play that, I think of that. So that's a lot of fun. Do you know a song called Jesus Found Me? Jesus Found Me. Mm, not that I know of. All right. Well, I guess that would count as not knowing <laughs> it, wouldn't it? All right. Um, people need the Lord. Oh, wow. Okay. we've ever done that on a live as far as I can remember no I don't think so either that no. was fun I like that song that's a very it's a thought-provoking song I'm like excited about <coughs> excuse me a lot of the requests tonight oh I've good seen, I've got a, a list of them here that are uh, not the ordinary I guess not that they're all ordinary necessarily <laughs> but I guess less popular there we go Okay, that makes me excited and a little nervous at the same time. I think you know all of these. Okay, like, that's pretty, a good thing. Pretty well, like surprisingly well that we don't sing them very often. But um, you mentioned a camp meeting just a minute ago. So let's take a minute and talk about where we'll be Okay, so this week and next week. So tomorrow night and Tuesday night up at my dad's church where my dad pastors in Hendersonville, North Carolina, Progress Baptist Church. We're in revival services there, so Josh and I'll get to be in both of those services. And then Thursday and Friday is one of our favorite meetings of the year. Um, it's a, a, I don't really know what they're calling it this year. I'm having, a, I, I'm drawing it a blank on it, but it used to be in January. They've had to reschedule some things thanks to the pandemic. So it is this week, July 1st and 2nd, and it's hosted by Wahoo Baptist Church but it is held at the Union Grove Holiness Campground in Cleveland, Georgia. So it's on Amen Drive, but it is just this wonderful, huge camp meeting tabernacle, and it's so fun. And so the services are Thursday night, 7.30, Friday morning, 10, Friday night, 7.30. So our family will be there and um, playing and singing, and that's just super fun. So I love that meeting. And then next week, July 4th through the 9th, if you're in the Western North Carolina area, we're going to be at the Western North Carolina Camp Meeting in Candler, and that is Sunday night through Friday night. Um, there's, a, uh, we'll try to post the flyer on my Facebook page so you can see the 
details about where that is, but if you know where the Candler area is, right around Canton, north of Asheville, that's where that meeting's going to be. So that's a super fun meeting. Just night services only, but under an open-air tabernacle. So if you've never been to one of those, make a trip over. We'd love to meet you and see you. So that'll be a lot of fun. So that's the next two weeks. Busy two weeks. Yes. Um, yes, that is correct. We won't probably be able to do a live next week. That's right. Yeah. Someone asked. So. Um, but yeah, and all of you, especially somewhat local to the Western North Carolina, um, come mm -hmm. on out and see us. Yeah. I think last year, actually, at that um, camp meeting, someone, some of you traveled all the way from like Pennsylvania, and that was a real, real fun. That was you. fun. We love meeting you guys out when we're singing somewhere. So. All right. What's next? Count your blessings. Okay. <laughs> there rings a melody. Saved by the Blood. trouble keeping up you're playing too fast <laughs> he has a much harder job than I do let's do how wonderful art thou how wonderful art thou do, 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 do. do I know that song you do is it in it's in the majesty hymnal I know um, hold on I'll grab that I want to play it for whoever requested it but that's I'm not how wonderful art thou it's if I know it I'm forgetting it but that would not be the first time that's happened. How? It's not in the new Majesty hymnal, the Rejoice hymnal. Um, I can get you the other one if in the meantime. Um, why don't you do a patriotic 
medley in honor of the upcoming Independence Day. Okay. Day <laughs> oh, yeah, because we wouldn't be for. going live next week. Okay, fair enough. Um, okay. I know Let's where see. it is. All I, right, I'll we'll do it. Grab it though. I'll do. Um, uh, one that was requested is Stars and Stripes Forever. Okay, I'm gonna have to wait on that one. I don't have that song memorized. That's a really, really big song, so, and I don't, I don't have it memorized. Sorry. Um, I'll do "God Bless America," "My Country Tis of Thee," and um, "America the Beautiful." How about that? So. <laughs> Would love to have actually prepared that and played it so that was very off the cuff but maybe um, in a couple weeks i'll have a really good you have one more to do 
Okay. I bet you can guess. The the Star Spangled Banner? Okay. I played it on Memorial Day weekend is why I didn't do it then, which I think My Country Tis of Thee. Sorry, that one got me out of breath. My Country Tis of Thee is also like, pardon me, our friends across the pond, if I, if I butcher this tune name, but I think it's God Save the Queen as well. So somebody who's watching over there can correct me if that is wrong. But I believe every time I play that, they always say, thank you for playing God Save the Queen. And I say, well, um, um, Americans, that's my country, tis of thee, I believe. So I, I think that's right. Josh is nodding. So I'm hoping I'm... It was one of them. I'm not sure if it's that or um, the one you played before that. Okay. I'm, I'm like 99% sure, but I don't want to be dogmatic in case I'm totally wrong. Okay. I'll play Star Spangled Banner. So if you're an American and you can, you're standing up with your hand over your heart, I'm sure. But I'm, I'll sit down for this version. <laughs> So that'll usher in the week of July 4th when we celebrate Independence Day here. So, all right, let's see. This is How Wonderful Art Thou. And um, I don't think I know this song, so I think I'm sight reading. If I've heard it before, it's not ringing any bells whatsoever. So we'll see what happens. What a song. So the chorus says, Almighty God, how wonderful art thou to love the world while heavens before thee bow. I fail to comprehend it all somehow. Almighty God, how wonderful art thou. And then the verses just talk about wonders of God in contrast to how he cares for us. So, wow, that's an awesome song. That's a new one for me. I like that. All right. Um, let's see. A couple things to talk about. Okay. One, um, someone asked 
our goal is to have the beginner course level two um, live and going this week. Um, it, it'll be pushing it, but that's the goal. And I think by the end of the week, it should be available. Um, also, be sure to check out other things on the website, CDs. Natalie has a piano solo um, hymn, play, hymn CD that we released a month or so ago. And we also have the downloadable version available now on the website also. So if you order the downloadable version, nothing will be shipped to you. You'll have it right there in your email. But if you order the physical copy, we'll send it to you. So. All right. And also, don't forget, um, or I'll remind everyone, about the choir conference and hymn sing. Those are two separate events, but they're on um, July 16th in the evening for the hymn sing, which that is a free event. Um, you can just come, and we're going to sing songs. Natalie's going to play the piano, and we'll sing for about an hour and a half, just stuff out of the hymnal, like, kind of like what we're doing tonight. Yeah. Um, just we're not singing. Um, so that'll be a lot of fun. And then also um, on that Saturday, we're, there will be a uh, choir conference workshop, basically. We'll mm -hmm. be learning some new music, some that Natalie's written, some that um, Byron Fox has written, and then maybe a old song or two as well. Mm -hmm. And we'll be working on getting better in our church choirs and also, I think, a little bit of help for directors, song leaders, mm -hmm. all that. Yeah. So be sure to check out, let's see, I'll put up the website and also the um, text number. I think we already have, um, I haven't, I don't know at this point in the week, but at the beginning of the week, we had about 40 people registered for both. So that's good. That's exciting. But um, we're going to push for a lot more. We should be... I think the mail out um, information should be hitting people's mailboxes mm -hmm. this week. If so, I'm expecting a lot of a lot of uh, sign up for that. So, don't forget, we'd love to meet tons of you people there. Um, all right, is that all? You're supposed to remind me. No, that's my job, isn't it? I think, yeah, you <laughs> usually remind me of what I was just saying. No, I think that's it, though. I think that's the big things. So, all um, right, let's do some more music. Okay, I'll do. We'll understand it better by and by. Does that fit in with whatever you have, or do you want me to wait um, on that one? Yes, do that one. But, um, what was it called again? We'll understand it better by and by. Oh, that's the one from last week. Yes, that we never could figure out. Mm -mm. Do we know it? Yes. We do? Sort of. I know the chorus really well. The verses, I'm glad I have the music. All right. So go for that. Okay. have it with two different pieces of music that had two different um, composers. The choruses were the same for them, but the verses were a little bit different. So I really have no idea who wrote it. So. All right. 
the next song um, is When Morning Gilds the Sky. I know that, but I'm still going to use a hymnal just in case. Hold on a second. When Morning, where, there we go, 131. So this is out of the Trinity hymnal, which we'll do an episode where I play primarily from the Trinity hymnal soon. I know a lot of you love that book. Okay, so I need to fix the few things that I didn't communicate clearly. So <laughs> the um, hymn sing will be live streamed, and they are two separate events, but the information is the same for both mm -hmm. of them. So if you go to the text sing or to that website, all the information is in both places, and we're doing it in conjunction um, with all the same people. Um, but let's see. If you do not register, though, you won't be able to see the live stream. Um, I, I believe that's the way that works. So if you sign up for the live stream, you'll actually get the information on how to how to view it. So either way, um, go on there, check it out. It has all the information. Both of them are at our um, our church here in Taylor, South Carolina. So um, also, sorry for having the wrong title up on that song for half of it anyway, but I got it right at the end. All right, so I've got one more. That next one is Stand Up Stand Up for Jesus. Okay. And then while she plays that, we're going to do a throwback and wrap it up with a red back, whatever we call it, red back roundup. How about Something, that? Red back roundup. That's fun. Okay, so the way that works is you all text in or type, send in the messages to me of title and page number out of the red back hymnal, <laughs> also known as the church hymnal. Um, but I need both the title That's and the page number. This one. And then we will tell Natalie just the page number and she'll get to, we'll see how she does. We'll do four or five of those that way. Sounds good. So, I don't think that'll make me quite as nervous as it used to. When we first did these, I was a nervous wreck about this section, like doing songs that I didn't know. And now it's like, Y'all probably watched long enough to know you. I'm going to sight read something in the middle of it in front of everybody, so we'll see what happens. So stand up, stand up for Jesus. Maybe ready? I do still get a little nervous. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Well, I don't think this one will be too bad. I believe okay. these are all um, songs that you know. So, all right. This is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Six songs out of the um, red back. Okay. All right. You ready? Sorry, I'll call so me So we're going to do these like a marathon, and then we'll probably just close out. Okay. So parting, parting statements. Natalie, anything you want to say before we sign off? Thank you all In for about watching. Ten minutes. As always. So um, we do this because you guys enjoy it and like let us know it's an encouragement. So if you that's a blessing to us. It's a great blessing to share the music. So thank you for joining us each week. Faithful people that watch every week and have since the beginning, or if you are just joining us for the first time and everybody in between. So we we're very grateful for your presence and that you're enjoying these old hymns along with us. So we love this kind of music. Like it's just a part of our life and our culture and our church, and we enjoy sharing it. So. And thank you, everyone, for watching and joining us. Thank you, Mike Robson, for all yes. your help. Um, Mike's a huge help to us. Yes, I actually do read almost every comment, but... Um, it's everything from Facebook and YouTube at the same time, and it ends up being usually somewhere around 1,500 in this short little broadcast. So I'm very sorry if I didn't see yours in particular. All right. And you it's ready? the same way with the request, too. Like, we, by the time a Sunday night episode rolls around, between the last Sunday night and then this Sunday night, we've gotten, like, literally hundreds of requests already. So even if I played 24 hours... <laughs> consecutively I don't think I could get them all in so if you don't hear yours please know we try to keep variety but it's I it's hard to get all of them so it's impossible actually so all right let's see first one is page 57 that's amazing grace you're right okay yeah maybe that's the real challenge is to see if I know it instead of having to look it up Number 98. 98. I have no idea. Okay, so I'm one and one. <laughs> Land where living waters flow. This is a hard one. And I didn't grow up singing it, so I feel like every time I play it, I'm sight reading it. So let's see what happens. <laughs> Oh, I want to see him? Am I sort of? Maybe not. That's probably not it. He lives. Sorry. Oh, man, now I'm one and two.
number 307. No clue. No clue. Take it to the Lord in prayer. I don't know this song. Wow. Oh, that's beautiful. The words, I'll read just the first verse in course. I'm guessing if it's new to me, it's probably new to some of you. But the first verse says, If the road before you offers naught but toil and pain, if the sun is hidden by dark clouds of rain, if without a ray of hope your life is filled with care, take it to the Lord in prayer. Many are the heartaches that will come to you. Keep your trust in Jesus. He will see you through. Never will you find a friend so kind and true. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Wow, what a good song. 358. Um, okay, I'm going to play the top one on 358. So that is Won't It Be Wonderful There. Fifty. Five fifty. Mm-hmm. There's it ends on four oh nine. Okay. Or four well, ten. That's interesting. I should have known probably. How about one fifty six? Then this will be the last song. One fifty six. Okay. Uh, great one to end on. <laughs> I am determined to hold out. So. Um, I don't know this well. I know I've already recorded it, and it's on the YouTube series that we're doing for the Redback Hymnal, so uh, we'll see if I remember it. 